Hi, my name is Charity Rice. I am the orthopedic coordinator here at Menorah Medical Center. We want to ensure that you have the best experience while you're here getting your hip or knee replaced. So I'm going to be going through some joint replacement education with you to get the best possible outcome for you. This is my contact information. My cell phone and my office phone are up there for you to call me with any questions or concerns that you may have. So preparing for surgery. We want you to eat a balanced diet with a good source of protein and fiber. You'll want to follow any physician prescribed diet that you're currently on. And if you are diabetic, continue to check your blood sugars. You'll want to stop any NSAIDs or blood thinners when instructed by your surgeon's officer at your pre-anesthesia appointment. If you're a smoker, now's a good time to stop. It can increase your anesthesia risks and it can delay your wound healing. This is a couple of good pre-op exercises that you can start now to prepare for your joint replacement. So by performing these exercises regularly before surgery, they can increase your post-op recovery, they can increase your strength and endurance, they may be able to help your pain level, and they may lessen your recovery time. So getting your home ready, you'll want to clean and disinfect. A clean environment minimizes infection risk. You'll want to have clean linens on the bed, on your bed the night before surgery, and also change your sheets three or four days um, after surgery. You'll want to remove all your throw rugs, tack down any loose carpet or flooring, and remove any cords or wires out of your path. You'll want to widen the pathways to accommodate the width of your walker. Your walker will be a little bit wider than you are. Move things that you might need to areas that are going to be easier for you to reach. Some people like to install grab bars in their bathroom to help them with getting up off the toilet and placing a non-skid mat in your tub or shower to make sure you're safe. You'll want to find an ideal chair with armrests and a firm seat and that you would be able to elevate your legs. You want to keep a phone with you at all times in case you get into an emergency situation. You'll also want to get up and move around at least every hour so you don't get muscle stiffness and pain. You want to talk to your friends and family about transportation. Your doctor usually will not allow you to drive for at least two weeks after your surgery, sometimes even longer. So think about who you will be having to take you to your follow-up appointment or getting your groceries or helping you with your laundry or getting your mail. You'll want to have phone numbers of family and friends and neighbors that may be available to assist you in case of an emergency. What to bring with you to the hospital the day of surgery. You'll want to bring an updated medication list, including your dosages. Do not bring your home medications. Bring two sets of loose, comfortable clothes. If you're having a knee surgery, staff would like to be able to get to see your knee. So sweatpants, shorts, PJs are all good options. You can bring in your personal toiletries, your own toothbrush, your toothpaste, deodorant, hair products, makeup, those are all fine. If you wear glasses, contacts, hearing aids, dentures, CPAP machines, that's fine to bring those all in. Just don't bring any valuables like jewelry or cash. You'll use the antiseptic soap as instructed by your surgeon or your pre-anesthesia appointment. You're only going to take the medications that they've instructed you to take that morning of surgery. You'll drink the carbohydrate rich drink or Gatorade as instructed. You'll come to the hospital at least two hours before your scheduled time of surgery. And you'll report to the registration desk. You'll want to prepare any questions that you may have for your surgical team. I suggest writing them down because if you get here, you may forget what you wanted to ask. So if you have it written down on a piece of paper, you'll have it with you. Again, my name is Charity Rice and this is my contact information. You can call me with any questions that you may have.